The woman who ran over a 65-year-old elderly Korean man riding her scooter on the sidewalk in Koreatown, Los Angeles on September 12th and then fled the scene, leaving the man to die a couple days later, has finally been identified. Her name is Devin Nicole Jordan Island. And I know many of you are gonna say that this woman looks nothing like this woman. But I assure you that this woman is this woman with face filters, but don't take my word for it. You see on September 13th, the day after the collision, Devin posted this on her Facebook page stating, I will never ever get back on a scooter in my life. In addition, you see this photo right in the corner right here of this post, the one that's censored out, that's to cover up the blood on her face. But if you compare these two photos, the one from the screenshot of the security footage and the one that she posted, because she posted this right after, not too long after the accident, she's wearing not only the same shirt, but she's even wearing the same backpack straps that she has in the security footage. And just in case to even verify it a little bit further, the man that she was with is none other than Devin's husband, Daniel Heath Island. And if you don't think his profile picture already looks like him, you see in one of Devin's old accounts, she posted with Daniel. And in this photo, you can not only clearly see that they're the same person, but they're literally wearing the same rosary beads. And not only did Devin decide to woe is me because she had to get stitches on her eye when she literally ran over a 65 year old man going upwards of 17 miles per hour illegally on the sidewalk. But then two days after her post on the 13th, she posts this quote where she says, may I never forget on my best day that I still need God as desperately as I did on my worst day, like on a day where you kill somebody? Or how about nine days after the incident, after Donnie Kim has passed away, where she posts, be clear, a friend who holds you accountable is better than a friend who will sit by and silently watch your bad behavior destroy you. Keep a real one around you, always. You mean like your husband who fled the scene with you after you killed somebody? Or how about five days after the story of what happened to Donnie Kim went viral all over social media, so much so that the news channels finally picked up on it, she decided to post, best thing I did this year is accepting that whatever happens happens and it's okay. Saying whatever happens happens and it's okay after you take the life of an innocent 65 year old man who was just trying to go to a date night dinner with his wife of 40 years. And after 65 year old Donnie Kim fell to the ground after being hit at 17 miles per hour, his wife Jenny Kim fell to the ground as well to try to find her phone to call the police. And during that time, Evan and Daniel, without even asking Donnie or Jenny if he's okay, decided to flee the scene going the other way. And it's mind blowing that she talks about accountability when she didn't even turn herself in. The police found her and arrested her. And now Jenny, who lost the love of her life of 40 years because of selfish negligence, is now alone and a widow. And even though Devin was arrested and arraigned and being charged with felony hit and run, as well as a misdemeanor manslaughter with a motorized vehicle, she was let go with an ankle monitor. And especially because she was just released with an ankle monitor, Donnie's family is really worried that she's either gonna plead out or take lesser charges. And it would be very upsetting if Devin got off lightly because this wasn't just some random accident. Surprise, surprise. Devin has a rap sheet. Just last year alone, she was arrested for possession, violating probation, and trying to steal a car. Which means that Devin has a pattern of behavior and her reckless lifestyle led to the death of Donnie Kim. And I really need the Los Angeles District Attorneys to hear this, but Devin deserves to have the book thrown at her. Because both Donnie and his wife Jenny Kim deserve justice. Rest in peace, Donnie Kim.